is not often that we get to celebrate a new holiday. So clear your calendars and welcome to Chalica. It actually starts tomorrow. Chalica is a week-long holiday created for Unitarians. How exciting, yay! By Daylene Marshall. Each day is focused on one of the seven principles. It gives us a chance to pause and reflect on how to get the greatest meaning out of our days. You can be simple or elaborate as you like with this UU holiday. There are no rules, go figure. It's an invitation to spend the day with your principles, reflecting on their meaning and doing a good deed that day focused on each one. For instance, the Chalica website suggests that Monday, which is tomorrow and the first day of Chalica, is all about the first principle, worth and dignity of each person. It would be a good time to make an apology for, or forgive someone. It could be marked by working at a food pantry. While Sunday is for the interdependent web, that would be a good day to make a compost pile right in the middle of winter. That's what it suggests. A chalice is to be lit every day. Gifts may be exchanged during the week. They can be notes or small handmade items. The holiday is designed to end next Sunday. So we only have a week to experience our Chalica holiday. Daylene Marshall, advice for everyone who would like to enjoy Chalica is, don't get stressed about adding Chalica to your other rituals like Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, or Solstice. Don't make it into a holiday obligation. Have fun with it. People don't have to do hard things. They can send a card. They can make a phone call. They can do something small and nice, or you can do something very big. We try so hard to fit our UU beliefs into all of these other holidays. I thought it would be nice to have one organized around our own values. So today, we're going to take a crash course in Chalica this hour for service. Hold on to your seats. All right, and now we will light our first Chalica candle. Can I have Damon come forward, please, with the assistance of Andrea? Please light our red candle, which symbolizes our first principle. Our first principle is respect for the inherent worth and dignity of every person. Now we light this red chalice in honor of that principle. Thank you, Damon. We light this chalice to remind ourselves to treat all people kindly because they are our brothers and sisters, to take good care of the earth because it is our home to live lives full of goodness and to love because that is how we will make our world a better place. We can use day one in Chalica to honor those who you do not understand, those whom you do not agree, write a letter, send a card, or offer an apology or a forgiveness. This story is called The Weight of a Snowflake. A cold tit and a dove were sitting together on a branch of a tree. Do you know the weight of a snowflake, asked the cold tit. Well, laughed the dove. Of course, it weighs nothing at all. And he secretly was thinking that even a cold tit ought to know that. In that case, said the cold tit, I must tell you a surprising story. One cold night, I was sitting on a branch of a fir tree when it started to snow. I had nothing better to do, so I started counting the snowflakes as they landed on the twigs and pine needles of my branch. I counted up to 3,741,953, that is a strange number, snowflakes dropped onto my branch weighing, as you say, nothing at all. The branch broke off and I had to fly away. Oh no! The cold tit smiled at the dove and flew away. The dove thought carefully for several minutes and finally said to himself, perhaps only one person's voice is needed for peace to come to the world. This story shows that 
Although there are so many people in the world, if you try to do the right thing, even just by yourself, you really can make a world of a difference. What a big difference we can make together. Thank you, children and youth. And now we will light our Chalica Day 2 chalice. Alex, can you please come forward? We light this chalice in honor of our second principle, justice, equity, and compassion in human relations. All people should be treated fairly and kindly. And the reading, I shall pass this way but once. Any good thing I can do, any kindness I can show to another human being, let me do it now. Let me not defer nor neglect it, for I shall not pass this way again. Thank you, Alex. So for this day, we can honor those in our community who are less fortunate. Volunteer at a food pantry, donate to a shelter, smile to everyone that you see. And now, Maria, would you come up, please? We will sing our most fabulous song. Now, the song that you heard earlier today was written especially for our holiday chalica, and this one was as well. It's in the insert. It's called The Seven Days of Chalica. Let's have fun with it. Let's be serious here. This is the grand tradition of Unitarians changing the words to things. On the first day of Chalica, the you you gave to me, inherent worth and dignity. On the second day of Chalica, the you you gave to me, kindness to all and inherent worth and dignity. On the third day of Chalica, the you you gave to me, spiritual growth, kindness to all and inherent worth and dignity. On the fourth day of Chalica, the you you gave to me, Research for truth, spiritual growth, kindness to all, and inherent worth and dignity. For just one, on the fifth day of Calica, the you you gave to me, democracy. Woo! Research for truth, spiritual growth, kindness to all, and inherent worth and dignity. On the sixth day of Chalica, the you you gave to me a peaceful free world democracy. Research for truth, spiritual growth, kindness to all, and inherent worth and dignity. On the seventh day of Chalica, the you you gave to me the earth which we value, peaceful free world. May I please have Naya and Andrea to come up, please? We will now light our chalice for Chalica Day 3. It represents our third principle, acceptance of one another and encouragement to spiritual growth. We believe we should accept each other and keep learning together. Church is a place where you get to practice what it means to be human. On this day of Chalica, we can honor other UUs and their spiritual journeys. Give a UU, give a UU a chalice or a favorite hymn. Host a UU gathering. That's always fun. Potluck. Extend words of peace to a UU that you've hurt in the past, which I know no one has ever done. Thank you, Naya. And now, Matthias, can you come up, please, Andrea? We'll light our candle for our Chalica Day 3. Sorry, for The free and responsible search for truth and meaning is our fourth principle. It also means each person should be free to search for what is right and true. The most important thing is to stop questioning. No, no, sorry, wrong church. The important thing is not, not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. 
One cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, and the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one merely tries to comprehend a little of the mystery of every day. Never lose a holy curiosity. That is by Albert Einstein. Thank you, sir. We can honor education or another religious tradition that day. Learn something new about another tradition. Share what we know with someone who would like to learn. Deacon, will you come forward, please? And so we like this in honor of our Chalica Day 5 and our fifth principle, the right of conscious and the use of the democratic process within our congregations and society at large. Thank you, Deacon. Our conscience is our innermost compass and guide. The right of conscience is what enables you to say, whether out loud or just to yourself, no, that isn't right, and I'm not going to go along with it. We can, on this day, honor democracy, write a letter, help a committee at church. We have lots of committees at church. You don't have to join, but we will always take your help. And now, if I can have Devin, please come forward. We light this chalice in honor of our Chalica Day 6 for our sixth principle. The goal of the world community with peace, liberty, and justice for all, we work together to build a peaceful world. And the reading is, be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you, Devin. We can honor our global community, write a letter for a global cause, donate to an organization like UNICEF or Amnesty International. I believe we have some letter writing in the foyer, which Marilyn will tell us about later. That goes along with that. And now we will have our Chalica spoken words presented by some of our youth. We have Alora, Violet, and Catherine. Please come forward. Call all your palicas. It's time for Chalica. Death the Holica. Let's celebrate Chalica. Each Chalica Eve, a candle will be light. From the first Monday in December, we have seven principled nights. Call all your palicas, it's time for Chalica. From the mountain to the Valica, we celebrate Chalica. Organize a Ralica, it's time for Chalica. You can still celebrate Chalica if you listen to Metallica. So give your mom a Kalica, this is the grand finalica. And I'm pretty sure we Chalica have a happy, happy, merry, joyous Chalica. Thank you very much. Those words come from a song called the second Chalica song. <laughs> All right. May I have Violet to return, please, and light our violet candle in honor of our Chalica Day 7. Our seventh principle, respect for the interdependent web of all existence of which we are part. We care for the earth. We light this chalice to honor the web of life. Thank you, Violet. We honor the sun and the earth that bring life to us. We honor the plants and the creatures of the land and water and the air that nourishes us. And we honor each other as we share the wonder of our wonderful world. We can, on day seven of Chalica, honor our natural world, start a compost pile. Again, I don't know how you do that in the winter, but you can ask Marilyn. She will know. Eat dinner outdoors. Again, maybe this was written and someone had a warm climate. Wake up early to enjoy a sunrise. Help out or donate at an animal shelter. Well, I hope you all enjoyed your crash course into Chalica. I hope it's inspired you to try out our Unitarian holiday and live your principles every day, not only in a Chalica day. May you grow and gain insight into yourselves and others around you, and may the light of spirit surround you, may the strength abide in you, may the love illuminate your heart now and forevermore, and now we'll extinguish the chalice until we meet again.